Many in Texas will recognize the name of Frank X. Tolbert. When it comes to Texas history and Chile, he was truly one of the greats. A legacy his daughter Kathleen is carrying on. How did your dad learn how to cook the perfect bowl of red? My dad, being a Texas historian, traveled Texas, the perimeter and everywhere for years and wrote a book a bowl of red in 1967. To publicize my dad's book, my father and a group of his friends decided to have a cook-off in one of the most remote places in Texas and one of their favorite places. And that festival became the famous Terlingua Chili Cook-Off. So what do you think goes into the making the perfect bowl of red? It's just the right balance of different great spices, not uh -huh. any old spices. You have to be particular about what type of spices you use. I imagine it definitely doesn't come out of one of those little packets labeled chili. <laughs> no, not at all. So do most people come here and get a bowl of red, or at least a cup of red? Every day, even in the hottest part of the summer. Oh, those are the dedicated yeah. Texans that yes. can eat chili in 110 degrees. Yes, and chop up the serrano, the garnish, and, you know, add it. And, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that takes a lot of fuerte yeah. right there, for sure. In the summer, only the strong chili lovers survive. But on a winter night like this, Tolbert's is packed with some serious chili heads. It is like a 20 out of a 10. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, it's so good. It, it's world famous. That's right. I love it. They have really good food and music and drinks. All right. That's basically like everything. I so, mean, they know how to make chili. And there's a secret to making chili. I guess the main thing about chili is you don't want to make it with beans. That's right. No beans. This is, that's the Texas way. And although chili bean soup is very good, you're not supposed to adulterate <coughs> chili with beans. Ah, oh, the beans, no beans debate may never die. But as Frank says, the official Texas way is no beans. So let's try Frank's recipe. So I came in for a bowl of red, and I think I might have ordered the entire pot. This is their house red chili. No beans, topped with onions, cheese. And then how do you make a bowl of red more Christmas? We well, throw a green serrano pepper right there on top. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, just the right amount of burn a rich beefy flavor the whole way through. Tons of meat. You know, you can skimp on the meat and stretch the chili by adding more gravy, but not at Tolbert's. No way. There's a Texas style Christmas dinner right here. Let's do this the manly way. <laughs> I might regret that in just a little bit. Chili may have humble roots, but I don't care whether you're low class or high class. This right here is pure Texas class. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye, Condios, amigos.